Hello, class. Good afternoon. How are you today? Everything okay? Hi, Hello, teacher. Christian. Hello, Richard. Antonio Quintanilla and Fernando Aparicio. Welcome. I am so glad that all Hello, of you teacher. are here. Okay, great. Hello. We are testing our sound, okay? And also our cameras. Here we go. It is exactly the time to get started, okay? So let's begin. And here we go, okay? I need everyone to say hello so we can test our audios and our cameras. Hello, Miss Jennifer. How are you? It's time to test if our audio is okay and our cameras, okay? So class, I am so glad that we are here together in this session number two, okay? So let's take advantage of our time here and our connectivity. It is very important. Remember, if you lose the connectivity by any chance or by any reason, as soon as your connectivity or your power is uh, established again, get back. So, um, yeah. Okay, let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Fernando Aparicio, welcome. Mr. Antonio Quintanilla. Uh, Mr. Ricardo Jose Flores Rivera. Mr. Christian Wilfredo. And Miss Jennifer Guerrero. Okay, all of you are here. Thank you so much. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you. Okay, and here we go. Okay, let me see over here okay class uh, it is loading but now you can see it okay so for the ones who were absent yesterday uh, my name is Irma Carballo I'm going to be your facilitator your teacher during this level and this is some background about my um, working experience and my academic background but I said that yesterday to the ones who were here and in our agenda for our class number two, the welcoming is what we um, have already done, greetings and welcoming. We're going to recall the generalities about the course. One of you is going to help me with the objectives, reading the objectives. We continue with the simple present tense and also with simple present tense questions and what's your schedule like? You're going to be predicting, scanning, and sequencing a reading, okay? And we're going to be talking about periods of time. You are going to be creating a conversation. You're going uh, to talk a little bit about your daily routine. Does it have a view? That is a question we're going to be answering, okay? And at the end, the wrapping up of the class. But now, here are the objectives. Okay, I need one of you to help me reading the objectives. One volunteer, please. Hello, oh, who is going to be that volunteer? Only one, one volunteer, please. Okay, Ricardo, please go ahead. I appreciate your participation, okay? Begin, okay. please. Uh, a specific objective. The five day end of this class to wit the living is clean in predicting scan and secure every or poster ready and discussion inter in three interview three interviews interview about chandler to very screen in predict scanning in sec second even after writing in discuss three inter award chandler okay thank you so much i appreciate remember that practice makes perfect okay so as ricardo read the specific objective class for today is that by the end of this class, you will develop skills in 
predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. In the class objectives, in the class objective, we have to develop skills in three skills, predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about the schedules, okay? So let me see who is writing here. Okay, hold it. Okay. Now we continue. Uh, I expect that by now all of you are in the WhatsApp group. If you're not, this is the link. And if you need me to share it with you, please let me know. Okay. And again, part of the generalities of this course is about homeworks and evaluations. Okay. I would like to have one of you helping me reading this information in Spanish, please. Who is going to help me reading this? I need one volunteer, please. Un voluntario para que me ayude a leer esta información para los compañeros y compañeras. Yo teacher. Okay, please. I have to volunteer. Thank you so much, but I didn't notice. Uh, maybe Christian, Wilfredo. Okay. okay. Tarea y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tarea y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso SAF. Eh, satisfactoriamente las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase puede adelantar contenido todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Ok, great. Thank you so much. And talking about this class, if you remember, yesterday we began the um, homeworks and evaluations in the platform, correct? Si Tengo una pregunta. Si se recuerdan, ayer comenzamos a trabajar en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y dice Quintanilla Aguilar, ask me the question. Fíjense de que yo ahí abrí la plataforma y abro incluso el enlace que, que enviaron, ¿Sí? pero a mí no me aparece el curso del módulo 2. Este módulo, en serio. Ajá. Sí, no me aparece. Um, bueno, yo le pediría de favor, fíjese, sí si ya está en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí estoy. Vaya, entonces acá yo le pediría que se ponga en contacto con los administradores del, del grupo, ¿verdad? Para que le ayuden, puede hacerlo con Jonathan o lo puede hacer con las otras dos personas que aparecen ahí como administradores para que le den apoyo, porque eso es eh, del IT department, ¿verdad? Del uh, soporte técnico. Ellos son ah, okay. los que manejan esa área porque eh, como en la oficina, ¿verdad? Es administrativo, no porque con gusto. Yo lo que puedo hacer es compartirle el enlace que me enviaron a mí, que nos comparten ellos, que es el mismo para todos, ¿sí? Entonces ahí si hay alguna situación, tal vez con el correo, pero usted ingresa a la plataforma, pero el curso no le aparece, ¿verdad? Sí, es que como le comentaba ayer, a mí me habían uh -huh. anexado... A nuevamente al módulo 1 entonces a mí me aparecen, yo envié la imagen al grupo de WhatsApp y me aparecen Ajá. dos módulos este uno entonces yo creo que ahí es el error y por eso todavía quizás no me han anexado para el módulo 2 entonces definitivamente es una situación administrativa, yo le pido de favor si quiere en este momento mande un mensajito ahí a los administrativos ¿verdad? porque están trabajando para ver si le pueden apoyar, ¿de acuerdo? ok, le agradezco mucho ok, my pleasure en then class, uh, ok, uh, ayer comenzamos a trabajar en la plataforma, sí, con los, con los ejercicios de discusión, ¿verdad?, que logramos hacer, y también ayer ya uh, podríamos haber iniciado los ejercicios, los homeworks, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces yo les pido de favor que durante toda esta semana ustedes vayan trabajando lo más posible para que vayan avanzando, ¿sí?, 
para que no se atrasen. Bien, entonces Quisiera una pregunta. Ya está el mi eh, Walter Mauricio. Disculpe, no ha pasado el esta acá, poquito más. No, todavía no, porque estoy esperando que se una ah. un poquito, sí, porque ahí había alguien que tenía problema y todo lo demás, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, so ah, let's Ok, my pleasure. Entonces estábamos eh, trabajando y platicando sobre tareas y, y evaluaciones eh, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que yo necesito que vayan trabajando a diario y vayan avanzando lo más posible, porque este fin de semana sí hemos tenido clase, vamos a tener el otro fin de semana y así, pero los últimos eh, ya van a ser como más espaciados por los horarios de usted. Entonces yo necesito que avancen lo más posible para que yo les vaya actualizando sus notas el, en el cuadro, ¿verdad? Respectivo, donde tiene que ir, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, tenemos acá, para la semana 1, la sección 1 y 2, tenemos que ir trabajando, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo esperaría que para el lunes ya estén completadas la sección 1 y 2, ¿de acuerdo? Porque acá lo que vamos a hacer es la práctica, más que todo, ¿sí? Y tenemos de nuevo las normas de convivencia. Entre las normas de convivencia, el eh, micrófono apagado, unless you are told not to do so, a menos que se les pida que no lo hagan para que participen. La lista de asistencia según este programa ya se la voy a tomar, ¿ok? Y tenemos la cámara encendida con su nombre completo, tal cual como aparece en DUI, porque si en determinado momento alguien de Insaforp, alguno de los auditores ingresa por el link que ellos tienen, los mismos links que tienen ustedes y tengo yo, los tienen ellos para poder supervisar y auditar quiénes están en clase y quién no. Entonces ellos entran con la lista Pasan lista al igual que yo y van anotando, ¿verdad? Quién sí, quién no. Entonces, por eso se les pide que nombre tal cual como aparece en, en el DUI, ¿sí? Y también por razones de eh, asistencia, porque a veces solemos tener un apellido que es el mismo con otro compañero o compañera, aunque no seamos parientes. Y entonces, si dejan solo un apellido, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí puede haber alguna confusión con la asistencia. Cámara encendida lo más posible, participación activa, practice makes perfect, el uso de los dos chats en Zoom y en WhatsApp están disponibles. Como cuando yo estoy presentando acá no los veo a todos, entonces se les pide que levanten la manita cuando vayan a, a solicitar o a participar, ¿de acuerdo? Vale, se los voy a poner acá, miren. Porque acá la plataforma me dice quién levantó la mano, porque yo les digo quién es, ¿verdad? Así solamente veo a, a tres o cuatro personas. Entonces, a veces no son los participantes que yo estoy visualizando quienes están queriendo participar y, y no sé a quién, para no quedarles mal, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ah, and the attendance. La asistencia mínimo 80%. Nosotros solo vamos a tener ocho sesiones. Entonces, tratemos de estar al 100%, ¿de acuerdo? El avance y desarrollo en la plataforma de aprendizaje, ya saben, es obligatorio, ¿verdad? Y lo más que puedan avanzar, eh, de, de que inicia la clase hasta que termina, ¿verdad? En las ocho sesiones que vamos a estar, los en los horarios establecidos, tener cámara encendida, la duración de cada hora clase es de 60 minutos, porque es hora reloj, es decir, son 120 minutos que debemos estar mínimo conectados. Y trabajar los ejercicios en la plataforma después de cada clase para poder obtener el diploma. Y ahora vamos con el repaso. If you remember class yesterday, we ended up with the simple present statements. Do you remember? And also you watched the video, right? Ayer vimos el video, ¿se recuerdan? Del presente simple. Yes? Okay, so we're going to watch the video. Again, vamos a ver el video nuevamente. Les pido que el micrófono esté apagado, por favor, porque vamos a ver el video y luego vamos a trabajar esta práctica, ¿ok? So, let me... Ok. And right now... Ok, let me see if it is... What is the platform? Ok, hold it. Over here. Okay, we are ready now. Okay, class, here we go. We're going to watch the video. I need you to pay close attention. And later, we're going to go over the exercise that you have in your manual. Here we go. Okay. 
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And uh, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well, and that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we are talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use this not for the pronouns he, she, and it. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples. I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb and then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. 
she is the subject doesn't is the auxiliary verb this is the third person that I was talking about earlier drive is the verb in this case I would like for you to notice that we don't add an s and the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb so every time there is an auxiliary verb we will omit the rule of adding an s to work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. And this is what we did yesterday here. Do you remember I asked you to click on Añade una publicación and you had to write your sentences that you created. Is that okay? Yes? Okay, so um, here we go. Now, class, mm, I'm going to call your name so I can take the attendance because it is the time, okay? Uh, Adilman Alexander, absent. Ana Margarita, absent. Antonio de Jesus Quintanilla. <clears throat> Antonio de Jesus Quintanilla, absent. Ah, you have to say here I am. You need to listen to your voice. Tiene que decir presente para que quede registrado en la grabación. Hola. Hola. Tiene que decir presente. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, here. Carlos Luis Quintanilla. Present. Okay, here you are. Thank you. Cristian Wilfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. Emperatriz de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Fatima Yamilet, absent. Fernando Antonio. Fernando Antonio Paricio Cabrera, thank you. Thank you. Glenda Guadalupe. Present okay. teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Jennifer Veronica. Jennifer is absent now. Okay. Jose Francisco Guzmán. Absent. Juan Antonio Menéndez Ceseña, absent. Luis Saudiel Gómez Pérez, absent today. Naomi Magdalena, absent. Ricardo José Flores. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great, thank you. Stanley Ernesto Lira. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Walter Mauricio Rauda. Walter. Mauricio Rauda, you're here. Rata, rata. And I was about to say, <laughs> I saw him here. No, but I was to say, <laughs> I como que lo vi por aquí, le iba a decir, perdió la conexión. And Jasmine Elizabeth. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you, class. Now let's continue, and here we go. Thank you, Emperatriz, for activating the camera. Okay, class, now we're going to work in your manual, okay? Okay, we're going to go over the feedback of what we did yesterday in your manual. If you remember, class, yesterday we your manual on the transportation means, right? And you were building sentences using the transportation 
means the ones that you use and don't use in order to commute, to get to your work sure. or get to get? Excuse me. Dice Jennifer que está conectada, pero como está lloviendo, no escucho cuando la llamaste. ¿Y dónde Por está Jennifer? La la no ver. ¿Dónde está Jennifer? Yo no la veo acá. Ustedes bueno, la... Me acaba de escribir. Me acaba sí, de pero escribir. yo no la veo acá conectada. Dígale que probablemente... Que eh, eh, sí, que probablemente ella cree que está conectada, pero no ha logrado ingresar. Porque yo ah, veo ahorita acá... Ahorita la voy a creer, porque así me acabo okay. de escribir. Eh, Vean ustedes si en su pantalla ven el nombre de Jennifer, porque yo no la veo. No sé si será mi imagen la que tengo. Ustedes ven a no, el no. nombre de Jennifer, ¿verdad que no? Entonces, no, no probablemente no, 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 ella cree que ha ingresado, pero no. El internet quizás lo tiene muy débil, pero acá la vamos a esperar, dígale, ¿ok? No hay problema. Gracias, Walter. Sí, <ríe> es que como todo queda grabado, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí... Es por la auditoría. Ok. So, as I was telling you yesterday, you built sentences and also you were supposed to add those sentences in the discussion, okay, in the platform. Se supone que tienen que agregar esas oraciones que trabajamos ayer, personalizándolas en lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? En ese espacio. And yesterday also you practiced this conversation, if you remember, ¿ok? So I would like to have as a feedback to participants to read this conversation, one boy and one girl. The girl is going to read Ashley and the boy is going to read Jason. Okay, two volunteers, two participants. Two participants para que lean esta conversación como repaso de lo que vimos ayer. Okay, Walter and Stanley. Walter is going to begin reading Ashley and Stanley, you read Jason. Begin, please. One, two, three. All uh, right, okay. Uh, nice car, Johnson. It is yours? No, it's my sister. She's a new job and she tried to work. It's her job here in the South World. No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near her house. Should they take the bus? It's really slow. Thank you so much. Great. Now, plus, I want you to notice the following, okay? Uh, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job, and she drives. Hear this sentence, class. She drives to work. It is in simple present third person singular. She is third person singular. The verb needs an S. Necesita una S porque es tercera persona de singular en presente simple. Y como no llevamos ningún verbo auxiliar, por eso al verbo le agregamos la letra S, ¿de acuerdo? And then we have, is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown. Notice here this other sentence. My parents work downtown. Mis padres, mi papá y mi mamá, plural, son dos personas. Por lo tanto, al verbo no le agregamos S, porque es como que dijéramos ellos, ¿sí? Mamá y papá, dos personas, ¿verdad? Downtown, but they don't. Y acá tenemos, miren, el negativo del que les hablaba el presentador en el video. They don't drive to work. Don't, porque es plural. They, ¿verdad? My parents. They use public transportation. En las afirmativas no usamos ningún eh, modal auxiliar y por lo tanto el verbo tampoco en este caso lleva letra S porque el sujeto de la oración es plural. They, they use public transportation. The bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house. Notice this structure. The train doesn't stop near our house. Esta es una oración. The train is also third person singular. Cuando decimos el tren también es tercera persona de singular porque 
if you replace the train and you write the subject pronoun, ¿cuál sería el pronombre personal a utilizar en lugar del, pro, el, del sujeto de train? ¿Cuál sería el pronombre personal que utilizaríamos? It. 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 Very well. It doesn't stop near our house. Entonces, como llevamos el verbo auxiliar en negativo, el verbo no lleva una letra S a pesar de que estamos usando tercera persona del singular porque este verbo, miren, auxiliar ya cambió. Recuerden que el verbo original es tú. Pero para tercera persona, como el verbo termina en O, le agregamos ES. ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? ¿Sí? That's... Ok, that's too bad. Y esto fue lo que practicamos ayer. Now, if you remember class, we were also working with this information about family members or relatives. Relatives, los parientes, ¿ya? Yeah? Kids, children. Mom, mother, dad, father, ¿ya? Yeah? And then we were associating from number one to number eight. The father and the mother equals parents. The son and daughter, children. If it is a boy, brother. If it is a girl, sister among them. Entre ellos, ¿verdad? And then we, uh, we went through the simple present statements. Acá tenemos lo que acabamos de reforzar en el video. Now, class, here, I need you to help me, okay? Paul Carter is talking about his family. Let's complete the sentences with the correct verb forms, then compare with a partner. I need you to choose the best alternative and later we're going to double check here, okay? If we say, my family and I live or lives, Live, live, correct? And then in the suburbs, my wife and I work or works? Work, con S, works. Con S? Yes. No, ¿por qué con S? Porque es mi esposa y yo. Ajá, y entonces es plural. Sería work, no, que sin, ajá, es plural sería work. Work, ajá, muchas personas se confunden porque lo asocian al español y es natural, pero vamos a tratar de eh, ir pensando un poquitito más en inglés. Entonces, my wife and I, en plural, no se le agrega la S, sino que solo para tercera persona de singular, recordemos, he, she, it. Ok, now you continue with the others and later we're going to double check, ok? Continúan ustedes seleccionando y luego lo vamos a verificar acá, ok? So you have two minutes to do it. It is at page 37 in your manual, ok? En el manual, página 37. Seleccionen la alternativa y luego lo verificamos. When you finish, you tell me, teacher finish or I'm done, ok? Fernando, el manual lo tiene que descargar de la plataforma, pero creo, uy, creo que lo tengo en la PPT y se lo puedo compartir vía WhatsApp, ¿ok? Here. Mm 
Okay. Fernando, I already shared it via WhatsApp. Ya se lo compartí via WhatsApp, Fernando. When you finish, tell me, please. Teacher, una pregunta. Yo ya descargué la manual, pero como está en PDF, no me permite escribir. O sea, lo tendría que copiar en el cuaderno. Uy. ¿Cómo no? Si le permite escribir, le muestro cómo. Porque yo lo tengo en PDF. Ya sí, yo también. Yo también. ¿Cómo? Vaya, entonces le permite. Vaya, permítame, le muestro. De la, el programa ya trae editor por sí mismo. Sí, entonces cuando usted abre el manual, en Ajá. esta parte de acá arriba, mire, visualiza mi pantalla. Ahorita. Vaya, entonces yo muevo acá como cerca de la barra, ¿verdad? De arriba, superior. Y ahí me aparece esto, mire, en mi computadora. Agregar texto. Entonces, cuando yo hago clic acá, mire, entonces me genera esto. Y Ajá. ahí yo voy a digitar, ¿sí? Okay. Verifique si lo puede hacer, por favor. Ok, en ese momento. Ok, y si no... Eh, lo que se puede hacer es acá, mire, en, acá siempre en el, la misma barra, yo hago clic en este que dice resaltar y ya lo trabajo así como lo he estado resaltando acá. Mm. En este caso porque es de seleccionar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Ok, ya se lo descargaron ahí, ya lo compartieron. Pero recuerden que ustedes tienen que descargar el manual porque es parte, ¿verdad?, de, de los requisitos de Insaport. Tiene que aparecer ahí que usted ha descargado su manual. Sí, sí, pero en mi caso, como yo quizás ingresé después de, de que habían subido el enlace del documento, este, a mí no me aparece, entonces por eso yo no lo puedo descargar. No, pero, pero cuando usted ingresa a la plataforma no le aparece. No, no me aparece nada de eso, como le digo, todavía no me han anexado al módulo 2. Ah, entonces, por esa razón, nada. vaya, perfecto, sí, porque yo no se lo puedo compartir en este momento porque tendría que cerrarlo, ¿verdad? Pero ya lo compartieron ahí, ¿ok? Thank you. Ok. Okay, finish class. Let's see class. My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here. So we walk or walks. So we walk, the first one, walk. Yeah. Remember that when we pronounce this verb, the L is not pronounced. La letra L no se pronuncia. Walk. To walk. work. Our daughter Emily, work or works? Work. Works with S because it is their mm. person singular. My, our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drive or drives? Drive. Drives Drive. with S because Emily is a third person singular. To work, our son don't or doesn't. 
our son don't or doesn't doesn't porque es tercera persona de singular es como que dijéramos he he doesn't our son doesn't drive he ride or rides his bike to school the first or the second alternative right the right. second alternative very well oh. now the second paragraph my parents live or lives in the city live Lives. live Lives. no live. live because it is plural he and she my mother and my father equals my parents live in the city my mother take or takes take take the second alternative because it is she a train to work my father is retired so he don't or doesn't work that doesn't that doesn't very well doesn't, doesn't work now he doesn't. also use or uses 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 the second one because again third person singular he also uses public transportation, so they don't or doesn't need a car. Doesn't. No, because it is plural. They don't. They don't. They don't. Okay, they don't. So now we have my family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here so we walk to our so we walk to work our daughter emily okay uh close your microphones please cerramos los micrófonos por favor turn off your microphone so everybody can listen to me okay here we go my family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here. So we walk to work. Our daughter, Emily, works downtown. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. Now, obviously, right? Okay, questions about this... Um, Information following the rules for the simple present statements, okay? Preguntas hasta el momento? No questions? No. Okay, we're going to continue Teacher, practice. I have a question. Yes? Okay, tell me, Walter. Este, fíjense que estaba viendo. Uh -huh. Pero como yo en el teléfono, ¿verdad? No me tira uh -huh. para poder hacerle eso, los ejercicios. ¿Cuáles ejercicios? En ese caso me tocaría hacerlo en el cuaderno. Es lo mismo que estamos viendo ahorita. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Sí, usted no, no tiene editor uh -huh. de PDF en el teléfono. Descárguese un editor eh, de PDF. No, pero... porque, porque ahí cuando abra el, el libro, sí el PDF, usar. sí lo podría hacer así como lo estoy haciendo yo. En este caso, ah, porque perfecto, la computadora perfecto. ya lo trae. En este caso, la computadora mía ya lo traía, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted descarga editor ah, de PDF perfecto. y entonces ya lo va a poder hacer, sí. Ok. Now, ah, para, ok, uh, thank you, no nada, problem. Uh -huh. Ok, great. Now, here, we have the simple present statements with irregular verbs. Los verbos irregulares son los que son diferentes en presente, pasado y futuro, ¿verdad? Entonces, miren, tenemos acá have. I have, you have, we have, they have a bike. In third person singular. 
My father has a car. He, she, it has. He has a car. She has a car. It has a car. Okay? And then we continue. My mother does a lot of work at home. The bus goes downtown, third person singular. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. Los verbos que en presente simple terminan con o, cuando los conjugamos con he, she, it, le agregamos es. Ejemplo, do, does, go, goes. Is that okay? And now we're going to have... Michelle, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, Emperatriz. Este, aquí el do está como un auxiliar, no como un verbo. Sí, sí corazón, eso les iba a decir. Uh -huh. Entonces, esto que usted está diciendo aplica para los otros. Ah, verbos. en este, permítame, en este, en este caso, en esta oración, ¿sí? A, a eso se refiere. En, de, emperatriz, emperatriz, escúcheme. Sí, sí, dígame. Usted sí. se refiere a este ejemplo, we do our ajá. homework every day. Ajá, ajá a la función gramatical del verbo do. A eso, eso me pregunta. Sí, ajá, porque ah, vaya, el, el sí, do permítame. es auxiliar. Ajá. Eh, eh, recuerden que el verbo do tiene doble función, ¿verdad? El verbo eh, hacer, pero también tiene la función de verbo auxiliar. Entonces, ya sea que este verbo funcione como auxiliar o como verbo principal, si lo usamos con tercera persona de singular he, she, it, será das en afirmativo y sería doesn't en negativo, pero en este ejemplo que tenemos acá, no está como verbo auxiliar, en los anteriores sí, en este que está acá sí, pero en este we do our homework every day es verbo principal porque el verbo es To do the homework. Esa es la frase verbal. Hacer la tarea, hacer el deber. ¿Sí? Entonces sería, we do our homework every day. Nosotros hacemos nuestra tarea, nuestro deber todos los días. My mother does a lot of work at home. Mi madre hace mucho trabajo o trabaja mucho en casa. Muchas tareas, ¿verdad? Caseras, ¿sí? Y acá es to do the homework. No podemos decir de otra manera. I do my homework every day. You do your homework every day. He does the homework every day. She does the homework every day. They do the homework every day. We do the homework every day. Porque la frase verbal es con to do the homework. Eso tiene que ir junto. Quintanilla Aguilar, Carlos Uribe, dígame. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Cuándo usar el do? ¿El do y das? No, el do, porque, por ejemplo, si, por ejemplo, hago una pregunta, do you understand English? Eh, y digo, por ejemplo, are you... Eh, from Mexico o cosas es así que, o sea, es que, usar, es que, no es que escúcheme ya le, ayer le, el presentador y hoy se los explicó que usamos do y das para construir preguntas en presente simple pero usted me está mezclando el verbo to be recuerde que el verbo to be por sí solo a pesar de ser eh, estar o ser es un verbo auxiliar los verbos auxiliares no tienen significado por sí mismo. Entonces, para estructurar preguntas en presente simple, vamos a usar do o das, excepto cuando esté el verbo to be en la oración o algún otro verbo auxiliar, ¿de acuerdo? Pero si usted me, me dice, eh, I am from Mexico, are you from Mexico? Ahí no tengo que usar do y das porque tengo el verbo to be. Aparte de significar ser o estar, es un verbo modal auxiliar. Por lo tanto, no usamos ni do ni das. Vamos a usar do o das cuando en la oración no haya ningún verbo auxiliar y estemos usando presente simple. ¿De acuerdo? 
Okay. If I say, do you understand? Do I explain? Explico. ¿Comprendes? Como ahí no está ni el verbo to be, ni ningún otro verbo auxiliar, vamos a usar do o das. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? Thank you. Ok, my pleasure. Pero hay frases verbales que ya traen el verbo do y no se puede cambiar por otro. Por ejemplo, to uh, do the homework, um, to do the laundry, lavar la ropa, ¿verdad? Ahí es parte de la frase verbal to do. And then, class, if there is no other question, si no hay alguna otra pregunta, continuamos. In exercise B, Ashley is talking about her family and her friend Jason. Let's complete the sentences and then compare with a partner. Number one, here we go, class. Okay. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go or goes? My mom and dad? Oh, go. Okay, go because it is plural. Go downtown to work. My parents are very busy. My parents are very busy. Están muy ocupados. So I do or does a lot of work at home. Do. do. I do very well. So I do. Así es que yo hago muchas tareas en la casa, pero tareas caseras, house chores, to do the laundry, to do the cleaning. Yes. Now, my brother doesn't live with us. Mi hermano no vive con nosotros. My brother is a subject. Doesn't is the modal auxiliary and the negative. Live is the main verb, the principal verb. With us is the complement. He has, has. or have. Okay. Has. He has an apartment in the city. He goes or go. He goes. Boys. He goes. Boys. No, goes, no, goes. Goes. Go. How do you pronounce O in English? O. Goes. Go. Go. Okay. Go. To school all day. And he do or does office work? Do or does? He does. 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 He does. He does office work at night. Now, number three, I have or has? Have. 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 I have. Very have. well. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go or goes? Go. We go so. to the same school. And sometimes we? We go. We do. do. We do. We do. We do our homework together. Now, tell your partner about your family. Yeah? Example, I have one brother and two sisters. They, let's write a paragraph together, okay? And you give me ideas. I have one brother and two sisters. They, mm -hmm, they go to school. They go to school. Yes. ¿Qué más podemos decir ahí? Es sobre su familia que me van a contar ustedes. ¿Qué más me van a decir de su familia? Okay. Use your imagination. My mother. What does she do? Tell me your ideas. My mother. Work in the house. Works at home. home. Works at home. Uh, at home. Yeah. Pero ella hace trabajo remoto, hace algún otro trabajo, o ella hace las tareas hogareñas. Las tareas hogareñas. Ah, so she is a housewife. She is a housewife. Ella es ama de casa. Yes, she is a housewife. And what else can we say? ¿Qué más podemos decir? My father. Let's write something about my father. My father. 
What does he do for a living? Use your imagination. Where does my Where does my father work? ¿Dónde trabaja mi papá? Eh, mi papá, no, o sea, nuestro sorry. padre, pues, my father works. No, at home no, en otro lugar porque ya mamá trabaja en casa. The, the office. Uh, farmer. Uh, my father works uh, at the office. At, okay, at the office. And what is his occupation? Como trabaja en la oficina, ¿cuál es su oficio? He is... What? He is made. Hello? Counter. An, account, an accountant. He is an accountant. Yes? He is an accountant. Very short. Yeah, and then we have I have one brother and two sisters. They go to school. My mother works at home. She is a housewife. Period. Okay. Over here, we need a period. Mm -hmm. And then we say, my father works at the office. He is an accountant. And very short, you have described your family, yeah, and what they do. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's remember that we need to make an emphasis in the pronunciation of the verbs in simple present for the third person singular. Recordemos que hay que hacer un pequeño énfasis cuando pronunciamos los verbos en tercera persona de singular en presente simple. Porque acá hay algunos que sí se distinguen. En da, my mom and dad go downtown to work. ¿Verdad? Pero hay unos que solo les agregamos la S y debemos de, de enfatizarlo. For example, we have take, takes, walk, walks, go, goes, study, studies, dance, dances, watch, watches, do, does, have, has. Okay, I read and you please repeat after me. Take, takes. Take, takes. Walk, walks. Go, goes. Go, goes. Study, studies. Studies, studies. Dance dances. Dance dance dances. Watch watches. Watch 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 watches. Do does. Do does. does. Have has. Have has. has. Have has. Excellent. Now here you have write five sentences about you and your family. For example, similar to this one, okay? Very simple. Uh, female, I live with my parents. For example, you say, uh, let's imagine Emperatriz. I live with my parents. I have two sisters. My father works downtown, blah, 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 okay? So I need you to write right now about your family, okay? three or four sentences similar to this one, okay? Or similar to this one, okay? And later you are going to share with your classmates. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to give you five minutes or less, maybe three minutes, right? En tres minutos creo que hablan, no van a hablar de toda su familia, ¿verdad? But about some members, your mother, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, and if you have a son, maybe, or I don't know, a daughter or a son, okay? Let's get the start here. And in the end, let's see, Jennifer, did she get connected? Y al final se conectó Jennifer, pudo. Yes, Mr. Quintanilla. 
Fíjese de que tengo poca carga y se va para el teléfono, así que si me llevo a desconectar, este, mm. ahí. Entonces informa a la administración porque le van a estar llamando que porque no se conecta. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. Ok. Y si puede conectarlo ahí, recargar, ¿verdad? Para que no pierda los minutos de asistencia, ¿ok? Tan pronto pueda, lo, lo recarga. Y reingresa, no problem, ok. So you tell me class when you finish writing. Please, eh, me avisan cuando terminen de escribir su short paragraph about your family, ok. Teacher, ya escribí acerca de mi familia, se lo leo. Yes, please, miss. I live quite my husband. I have two sisters, I have one brother. My parents live in the in from San Salvador Department. My aunts live in from La Paz Department. Okay, leaves. Remember to use the third person singular, okay? Okay. Okay. Muy bien. Very well. Somebody else who finished? Alguien más que haya finalizado? You tell me, please, okay? Yo ya finalicé. Okay, please. Uh, my husband or textiles. My children is a student. My mother is from a core. I have a, one sister. I have a one sister. Very well. Thank you. Someone else who finished? Alguien más que haya terminado? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ricardo Jose, please read your uh, paragraph. <clears throat> I, I have a song. My son is two year old. My brother go at Sport Salva. My brother is named Ernesto. My mother got a day Santana plant. My sister is home. My son is my life. Okay, excellent. The, the best sentence is the last one. La mejor oración, la última. 
My son is my life. Yes, excellent. I share that. My son is my life. Great. Very well. Uh, Walter Mauricio, are you ready? No, teacher. Lo que pasa es que estoy todavía viendo lo del para poder descargar el PDF. Ah, no, ya, okay. lo, ya lo descargué, pero estoy haciendo los primeros ejercicios porque no me permitía. Ah, pero Entonces sí ya. Atrasado. No, pero sí ya puede sí, escribir, ya... ¿verdad? Ah, ya ve que sí con el editor sí, 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 sí se sí, puede. Sí. Ok, great, excelente. Sí. Ya, ya, ya le voy a mandar las. Ok, eh, excelente. Le voy a mandar las capturas de los ejercicios. Ok, excelente. Antonio Quintanilla, are you ready with your paragraph, Stanley and Fernando? Ready? Sí, tengo algo. Ok, go ahead. My father is retired and works the house. Okay. My mother, I, la, I live in la, la Libertad and work in the housewife. The microphone, we don't listen to you, Antonio. No le pudimos escuchar lo último porque sí continuaba leyendo, pero el micrófono se le apagó. ¿En serio? Yes. ¿Y me escuchó hasta dónde? A uh, housewife. Ah. Eh, ok. My, my sister is living in USA and works in wife. Eh, housewife. Okay, so and, 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 and works as a housewife. Okay, very well. What? Stanley, ah, okay. do you have? Okay, okay, thank you. Stanley, do you have your paragraph? Yes, Stanley? Yes, teacher. Okay, read it, please. I live with my parents. Okay. My mom works at home. And my father um, worked in a construction. Okay. And I I have a two sisters. Okay. Um, I and is a she she is a study. She is she studies. She, she studies. studies. She studies. Okay. She she studies. Um, yeah. That's it. Okay, That's it. very well. Great. Now, Fernando Aparicio, are you ready with your paragraph? Eh, todavía no he descargado el lector de PDF, pero eh, igual vamos no, a hacer el no, pero, eh, no, pero esto no es de descargar el PDF, sino que solo es que ustedes lo tienen que escribir. Sí, okay. pero no. Sí, no, o sea, como el digo, no lo puedo editar el PDF, no puede escribir en el archivo. Uh, pero lo puede escribir en, en, el, en, en una página de papel o en el cuaderno, porque esto no necesariamente tiene que ir en el PDF, ¿verdad? Ok, yo se lo hago. Okay. Pero igual, así se lo digo. Ok, eh, let's continue, class. Thank you so much. Here we go. Now that we have gone over page 38, we move to. I get up at noon, this conversation, okay? Because the grammar focus is a simple present questions. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock? Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day for the people who wake up very late, okay? So here we go. Jack and Amy are these two people. Let's go to the park on Sunday, okay? But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. At noon, al mediodía. 
Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have a breakfast every day. Then uh, let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve a breakfast all day. Two participants to read this conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, Emperatriz, you are going to read Amy, and Stanley is going to read Jack to the count of yeah. in one, two, three. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I say play Winkins on Winkins. What time do you get on, at, on Sunday? At the end of class. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get got, I get up at noon. Do not create breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then we meet at this restaurant at o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Yes. Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve a breakfast all day. Now all day. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you are going to practice this conversation. But you switch roles, okay? And then we come back. Practican esta conversación e intercambian roles, ¿sí? Y luego regresamos. Okay, here we go. Uh, Okay. Join your groups, please. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Go to your groups. Go to your groups. Glenda and Walter, did you receive the invitation? Your group is number two. Thank you. Glenda and Carlos Luis, go to your groups, please. Chicos, I need you in the different groups. Los necesito en sus equipos, okay? I'll be waiting for you there. This group is mine. Uh, your group is number one, Mr. Quintanilla Aguilar. Thank you. Recibió la invitación. Okay. Glenda. Ah, Glenda, you have two devices. Okay, Glenda, I'm going to move you to group number two, okay? Glenda, al equipo dos, they are waiting for you. Okay, great. Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Yes. yes. Oh, 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 oh. Perame, 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 perame. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You. Did you did you switch roles? Intercambiaron roles? Yes. Okay, ya sí. leyeron dos veces cada uno. And now sí. Sí. Uh, eh. Christian Wilfredo and Carlos. No, uh, uh, ahorita lo hicimos Emperatriz y yo. Por eso, pero ya intercambiaron roles. Sí, ya intercambiamos. Yeah. Ok, uh -huh. entonces ahora eh, Carlos Wilfredo y Fernando o Carlos Luis. ¿Quién va a leer junto a Cristian Wilfredo? 
Carlos Luis está disponible. Fernando Aparicio está disponible. No están disponibles. Entonces le voy a pedir a, a Stanley o a Emperatriz que le ayude a practicar a Cristian Wilfredo, por favor. Ok, Ok, okay Stanley y Cristian. Ok. okay. Eh, empiezo yo. Yes. What time do you get, get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that, that, that's really on Sunday you get up at the moon. Do you eat bright fun things? Sure, I have the breakfast every day. They let me at this restaurant or oh, one of clubs. They serve breakfast uh, a day. Fin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tony, a ustedes les toca. Vamos. Tony. Tony. Ah, démosle para Glenda. Yo soy Jack. Ok, Dice, Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, what early on Sunday I get up at noon? How do you get back then? Sure, I have very packed. Every day. The let's meet at this restaurant at, at one club. They service brief all day. Vaya, hoy puso Jack. Okay. Let's go to park on the Sunday. Okay. Boy, let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you keep on the Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, what time every on Sunday is I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast team? So, I have brick pick every day. Delete meat and this restaurant. It one of close the several breakfast all day. Okay. Okay. Si quieren darle ustedes otra vez. Recuerden que tienen que intercambiar roles, ¿verdad? You switch roles. Que ahí te cambiamos. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, great. Yeah. So finished. You are done. Okay, let's yeah. return then. Yeah. Everybody read. Let's get back to the okay. main session room, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, class, here we go. And uh, right now, we're going to continue in the platform. Okay. This is the last part that we did today. And here, if you remember, yesterday I told you that you have to use the simple present tense in the 1.4 knowledge check, yeah? Here you have uh, five questions. And then we move 
to the simple present statements with uh, irregular verbs. Let's watch this video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Okay, and this is what we did with our family, yeah? But right now here, I need you to log in to the platform. <clears throat> you click over here, añade una publicación, and then you are going to write some sentences. Using the verbs have, has, do, does, go, and goes. Okay, for instance, let's see. We're going to have a brainstorming. And I remember that somebody said, okay, let's wait for this uh, over here. Yeah. If we say, I have a son. Okay. I have a son. Or I have a daughter. Yes. Or you may write, I have two children, or three, or four, or five. Yes? What else? I, this is a mistake. I must be always in capital letter. Let's associate transportation. If you say, I mm, go to work, by bus, yes? Or you may say, my sister 
goes to school. Or my mother goes to work every day. Yeah, every day. And some others. But the sentences must be in the platform. Pero las oraciones las tenemos que agregar en la plataforma. Yes. As we did yesterday. No es en el manual. Es acá. ¿eh? And then you have, you look in the platform for 1.6. Okay. Then you scroll, scroll. You click over here and you write your sentences. When you are done, you tell me, please. Okay. Three or four sentences are okay. If by any reason you cannot access to the platform, you write them in a piece of paper. And when you have the access to the platform, you type them, okay? Si por alguna razón no tienen acceso a la plataforma, como en el caso de, de, de Wilfredo, me parece, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, las escriben aparte y las van ahí coleccionando y ya cuando tengan el acceso, ya solamente las digitan para que no tengan que estarlas pensando nuevamente, ¿ok? Okay, I assume that all of you finish. Yes. Recuerden que tienen que hacer clic acá para que, para que les permita, ¿verdad? Trabajar y guardar en su plataforma, no en la mía, en la de ustedes. Okay, shall we go over the next activity? ¿Podemos continuar con la siguiente actividad? Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. Very well, I click on next. And then you have the other knowledge test. For example, 
Okay. In here. Complete the sentence, select the correct verb form. Acá es la forma verbal de acuerdo al sujeto de la oración. No se me vayan a confundir porque así como lo estuvimos haciendo en la completion of the exercises, en, en los ejercicios de complemento en el manual, así es acá. Let's see. Number one, my parents a house in the suburbs. Which is the correct option? Have or has? My parents. Have or has? Have. Have, have, because have. it is have because it is plural. My mother and my father equal parents. Yes or no? So it should be have. Let's go over number two. This one in number one. My parents are very busy, so I a lot of work at home. And then, which is the missing word? I do or does a lot of work. I do. Excellent. I do. Very well. Okay. And next one, in number two, my brother doesn't live with us. He an, an apartment in the city. We click. Have or has an apartment in the city? Has. Has, has because it is a person singular, correct? And then, and he, his homework at night. Do or does? Does. Does. Okay. Great. Does. And so on. Y así sucesivamente, okay? Okay. Mm. This is the one we are in. We are over this. Okay. So now class, the simple present questions and conversation, I get up at noon. Ya trabajamos la conversación, ahora vamos con la estructura gramatical. Let's pay close attention. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, let's repeat. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Okay, okay. but okay. let's go okay. in the afternoon. afternoon. Okay. Let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. I sleep, I sleep late, late on weekends. weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? What time, time do you, do you get, get up on Sunday. Sundays? Sunday. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's... At, at 10 o'clock. At, at 10 o'clock. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Repeat, please. At the dance early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Okay. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation. Bueno, parece que alguien me está interviniendo la pantalla, ¿verdad? Entonces les agradecería que, que me dejen trabajar. Porque acá ya no pude detener la conversación para que ustedes la repitieran. Porque alguien está usando la pantalla y está tratando de escribir en ella mientras está el presentador. Entonces vamos a comportarnos, ¿verdad? Lo que, el mensaje que el presentador del video les está dando es la estructura gramatical. Así es que les pido de favor que le prestemos atención, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. So here uh, we're going to pay close attention to the structure of the simple present questions, okay? Y apagamos los micrófonos, por favor, todos y todas. Okay, great. Now here we go. Lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and 
does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, Share it in our discussion forums. Okay, class. So uh, right now you are going to build questions, okay? And you are going to write them in the discussion. In the discussion, okay, space. But let's go over this. This is what the presenter was telling you. Do you get up early? What time do you get up? 
if I ask you, do you get up early? Probably you will tell me, no, I get up late. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. Does he have uh, lunch at noon? Yes, he eats lunch at one o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. When do they drive to work? Every day. Now here we have some expressions. Early, late, every day, at nine o'clock, at noon, during the day. At midnight, the zero hour, okay? At night. At night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays, okay? On weekends, los fines de semana. On weekdays, los días de semana. Now, you complete the questions with do or does. Then write four more questions. Let's go over the first two. Let's analyze the example. Do you get up early on weekdays? That is one question. Now, class, what time you go home? Which is the missing word? What time? ¿Cuál es la palabrita que nos hace falta acá? Do. Okay, great, excellent. What do. time do you go home? Okay, very well. What about number three? Your mother work. Does. Does. Only the word does. Okay. Only the modal auxiliary does. Does. Does your mother work? Yeah. How? Does. Uh, let's see. Your father gets to work. How does yes. your father get to work? ¿Cómo llega tu papá al trabajo? ¿Cuál es el medio de transporte que utiliza? Number five, your parents read in the evening. Do. Do your parents read in the evening? Do. Do. Excellent. Do, because it is plural, mother and father, okay? Do your parents read in the evening? Okay, very well. When do, does. do your parents? Do. When do your parents, because mother and father equals parents. When do your parents shop? Now, let's build one question using does. Does uh, your mother or father? Aquí tiene que ser solo uno, ¿verdad? Does your or brother or sister? Sister. Does your sister, for example, does your sister? The verb? Stop. Study. Does your sister study? English. Study English? Great. And then we have already the question mark. Y ya tenemos acá el signo de interrogación. What time? Any kind of question, okay? What time? What time? Very common. What time do you do you get up or do you go to bed? Do you go to bed? Yes? To make it different. Ahora escriban ustedes una usando do y la otra usando when. Okay? And using this time expressions if you want to. Y pueden utilizar estas palabras, ¿verdad? When you have finished the two questions, you tell me so we can share. Cuando terminen de escribir las preguntas, de redactarlas, you tell me, me dicen. 
para que las compartamos, ¿ok? Okay, let's uh, share. Do tell me an example. Hello, someone. Do you work in in the uh, in the empresa? Do you work uh, in that company? The company? Trabajas en aquella compañía o en esa compañía? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes. Now, when? Let's say an example. Of question using when. Any question using when? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? In January, in March, in April, in July, October, November, December. Yeah, you mentioned the months of your birthday. Okay, so I'm going to read the questions for you guys. Do you get up early on weekdays? What time do you go home? Does your mother work? How does your father get to work? Do your parents read in the evening? When do your parents shop? Does your sister study English? What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? Do you work in that company? When is your birthday? All of them are information questions. Todas son preguntas para pedir información. Yes? Now it is the time for you to ask and answer the questions to your classmates. For example, do you get up early on weekdays? Yes, I do. I get up at 7 o'clock. Or no, I don't. I get up late. Yo me levanto tarde. Yes? So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, and then you are going to ask and answer these questions. Okay? You take turns and you ask and answer those questions. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. okay. Here we go. You have three minutes. So let's do it kind of fast. Okay. I send you the invitation. Please join your groups. Okay, go to your groups, please. I have sent you the invitation. Let's begin asking and answering the question. Walter, your group is number two. Go to group number two, please, Walter. Thank you. 
Fernando. Okay, great, excellent. Sería las mismas preguntas, estas, las que vamos a ejercitar. Yes, yes, yes. You practice and they give you their own answers. Y cada quien da sus propias respuestas, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a su realidad. ¿Ok? Ok. 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 Entonces... Ah, se fue. Ah, ya. Yeah. Repeat, please. Do you live, Stanley? ¿Dónde vives? Ah. Do, así, I live in... así sería. No. Hola. Así sería. Do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Así, where do you live? Ajá. Uh -huh. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live, I live in Takakoy. Ah, oh, es que se escucha cortado. Okay. Ah, ya, ya. I live in Sacacoyo. I live in Sacacoyo. Okay. Este. Do... Do you have a dog? Repeat. Do you have a dog? A dog. Dog, wow, 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 wow. A pet or, or, a or dog. cat. <laughs> a pet. Or cat. Do you have a dog or a cat? Emperatriz, do you have a dog? Juan Juan. <laughs> no, 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 teacher. <laughs> si tienes perro. Yes, yes. Yes, I, I do. have. Yes, yes I, I, do. I do. I have a dog. I have. I have two dogs, okay? Two Continue. Dogs. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Do you have sister? Yes, I do. I have a two sisters. Okay. <clears throat> hey, do you I have do you have brother? No, I don't. I don't have a uh, brothers. Yeah. solo <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm I'm king in my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> los otros compañeros no 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 van a participar, teacher. Why not? Carlos Luis, are you available in Fernando? Yes. Okay, ask him the questions. Pregúntenle a Carlos Luis. Háganle la pregunta, Stanley, a Carlos Luis. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Carlos, uh, do you have a, a pet? Uh, yes. No, yes, I do. Yes, I ah, do. I do, perdón, I do, perdón. Okay, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you have a... Voy a preguntar y ahí el otro no, va no, a, a responder. Otro va a responder. Ajá, y de ahí así nos vamos a preguntar entre todos. Eh, I... Sería... Tú... No, te voy a contestar a yo, ¿verdad? ¿A qué hora vas a tu casa? Yo llego a la casa. Entonces, ajá, ¿a qué hora llegas a la casa? Ajá. Eh, seven. Seven o'clock. Pero que yo creo que ahí están las respuestas, las que están en... en de, y creo que esas son las, como las respuestas. No, ahí tendría que decirle eh, que llegó eh, Seven. Seven. Eh, Your reality, su realidad, cada quien. Okay. Uh, seven at night. At seven p.m. Hoy voy a preguntarle a alguien más, Richard. Decirle ahí de un solo y ahí que ahí lo vamos a yo. Okay. Uh, how do you 
your father had to go? Number four. How does your father had to go? Uh, Glenda. My father. How does uh, your father get, get to work? My father is work every day. No. How, how does your father get to work? ¿Cómo hace tu papá para ir al trabajo? Uh, el medio de transporte, el transporte que usa. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, my father is uh, public tra transport. My father uses public transportation. My father uses public transportation. Okay. Ahora voy yo. Uh, uh, your parents uh, drive any? Mm. What number? Five. Five. Evening. 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 Sí, ¿a quién se la pregunta? Ah, pues. ¿Qué? Uh, ¿A Walter? Eh, sería. Hello, did you finish the practice? Emperatriz? Hello, somebody yes, teacher. here? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, you teacher. finished. Sí. And Stanley, also, uh, both of you finished the practice. You yes. know, I assigned here Christian Wilfredo, but I think he is having problems with his internet connectivity because he doesn't log in. Okay, let's return to the main session room because it was the idea just to practice some questions and answers. Yes? Let's get back to the main session room. Let's return. Remember class that in here in the Okay. We Everybody back? Not yet. No, 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 no. No tomé el tiempo. Mm. Yes. Overtime. Overtime es tiempo extra, horas extras en el trabajo. Okay, what I want uh, what I want to tell you class is that you need to remember that you need to work in the platform and also remember that you need to add what you are owing me today. Okay. Um, it's that in here you need to write the questions. Okay, las oraciones, las preguntas que le dijo el presentador. Okay. And Yes, sir. Disculpe, disculpe, ¿verdad que hasta la, hasta la 12 es posible que avanzáramos, dijo, verdad? Sí, tienen que avanzar, avanzar lo más que puedan porque nos vamos a reunir eh, de acuerdo a la programación, si no me equivoco, hasta el viernes de la otra semana, ¿verdad? Sábado, Entonces ¿verdad? hay el viernes, no sábado, viernes. Sí, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? El viernes. Sí, Ajá. Disculpe que le interrumpa. Sígame. Eh, usted va a reunir no, con, se va a poder reunir con nosotros el domingo también mm, fíjese que no de acuerdo no. de acuerdo a la, a la programación que nos han dado no nos vamos a reunir en domingo solamente eh, el sábado 
el día 2, el día 3, 9, 10, 24 y 26 de junio. En julio nos vamos a reunir el día sábado 1 y el día lunes 3. El día eh, lunes 3 y el día lunes 10. ¿sí? Entonces, Estos días este... son los que están programados eh, las reuniones que nos han habilitado para que nos podamos reunir en los enlaces. Ya compartió esos horarios. Eso se los compartió la administración. La administración es la que comparte eso, no los comparte. Ya los tenemos. Ya los no, tenemos. Ya los ah, ya los tenemos. Ah, sí, bueno. sí, sí, el mayo está. Es sí, ese era yo yo preguntaba por yo en el, en el WhatsApp. Porque aquí los pero tenemos. es que yo preguntaba si hasta sábado, Gracias. porque viernes salimos de pelado, ¿verdad? Y de pelado, ¿o no? No, no, de no, 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 no debe ser no así. Lo, lo, eso era, era mi pregunta porque yo no, yo no sabía sé, que no iba a nueve. El Chicos, día nueve y el día nueve y diez. Nueve y diez. Que salimos de pelado. Que... Que tenemos clases porque no vamos a tener el domingo. Por eso nos la han puesto. Es cierto, salimos de pelado, pero nos Ajá. han puesto clases nueve y diez. Para, para no recibir domingo. Ok, Correcto. Okay, exactamente. Ajá. Aquí okay, está el calendario. Ya se lo voy a ah. compartir aquí al grupo. En okay. Okay. Gracias, está, doctor. Mire, está bueno que hayan preguntado eso porque como eso, al igual que a ustedes, me lo comparte a mí la administración. Ellos lo organizan, ¿verdad? En inglés corporativo, Regal, no lo, no lo trabajo yo, ¿sí? Entonces, Ahí está el calendario. Ah, ok, muy bien, gracias. Gracias, doctora. <ríe> Excelente. Thank you, doctor. Ok, entonces okay. vean. Okay. Ustedes necesito yo que avancen lo más posible, ¿verdad? En la plataforma de aprendizaje, ¿por qué? Porque acá vamos a hacer la práctica aclaramos dudas que ustedes puedan tener y hacemos énfasis en uh, los puntos gramaticales, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Yeah. Okay, And, ok, thank you so very much. And I hope to see you on Friday. Nos vemos el día viernes en la próxima clase, sí. el viernes sí. 9 y sábado 10. Por lo tanto, <clears throat> vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? este fin de semana lo más que se pueda en la plataforma, ¿sí? Porque el día de semana ya regresan a trabajar, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Yes. Mañana. Oh, mañana. Mañana, mañana domingo. Entra. Sí, mañana uh. de noche. Okay. Sí, nosotros sí trabajamos domingo. No, nosotros también, pero en el día. Nosotros también trabajamos de, 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 el, 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 el día domingo. Sí, sí trabajamos dando clases de inglés los domingos. Ok, so it was not, you're not the only ones, no son los únicos. Ok, have a great weekend and I see you next uh, Friday, ok? Thank you for joining. You did a pretty good job. Congratulations. Continue working in the platform, ok? Goodbye. Have a bye. good bye. evening and a great weekend. Bye bye. Thank you bye for joining. Bye bye. See you next you. time. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Emperatriz. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye teacher. Bye bye, Glenda. Thank you for joining. Bye bye, Carlos Luis. Bye bye, Emperatriz. Bye bye. See you. <laughs>